go back to the third, and that's uh, that's not a good spot. Okay. So first of all, you have to figure out what is going to take your. Forget where the rocks are. You're trying to do one thing here, and that's the relief from the path. The ball's sitting down. Boy, it is though. sitting down. I wonder if he is in a little depression from a rock. Sounded pretty decent. Sure did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh, my gosh. Well, it was worth the wait. So we're going to look at it again. Here comes Rory's ball. JT's ball is sitting just fine. Right next to that divot. Mm -hmm. it just nudges it forward about six to eight okay. inches. Yeah, JT's ball was between the two divots that we see there. It's about four inches behind Rory's ball. Yes. And that right corner. And was it was it was it in a divot or was it not? It was not in a divot, JT. No. Not in the divots, it's not in the divots, in between the two, between the big divot and that small divot. Your ball divot. You move it back right there, JT. Right here? Yeah. Thanks, Billy Ray. It definitely was not in the divot, so it's just a little more so, interesting. Yeah, right where it's bigger. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay. But I mean, do you want to? Yeah, let me. Do you want to go? Yeah, and then I'll go. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have so, Brian hit first, and then. Justin you can just leave it there if you want, back. or you okay. can, or you can pick or you it up. Can, or, yeah, if you'd like, you can mark it. And well, it, would, it, would you rather be a mark or a ball? Probably. Okay. And then just ensure you don't. Clean You're good it. with that right there. Yeah, and just don't clean it. Yeah, just put it right. Yeah. Could have saved a few minutes if they just listened to us, Bob. I just want to make sure everything's all buttoned up. It's the right thing to do. We are at the ninth. Now Hayden Buckley's second shot. It landed, and if you're going to land in one of these, this is the event for it to land it. It landed into a wastebasket at the WM Phoenix Open. <laughs> fitting, uh, fitting into his week as well. There it is. I think I'm going to trash it. Bring a switch ball, so okay. we don't know where it is. Just estimate where it went into. Yeah, we'll and just then it we'll bounce right in here. Like okay. right so just on the front somewhere. Okay. Just put a tee down there, and that'll be your reference point. Okay. And we'll just measure our club length away. Right. We made a movies out of the way. Ball. <laughs> I kind of want to dig it out. Yeah, you don't have to. Hey. All right. Can I go right with it? You can go anywhere no closer to the hole from that. Shout out Red Skates. Yeah! Unfortunately, Daniel, you were right on. We thought it was pretty much at the pin, and you were kind of hitting from the right side of the fairway. Right side, just hitting it cut. Yeah, but it is. I, I don't think it crossed up here. I don't think it crossed up here. No video, unfortunately, Daniel. I'm not going to take a drop that, that I don't feel 100% correct about. I'm not saying it's all the way up there, but... It's not back there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys had the best angle on it, so yeah. you'll have to decide that amongst yourselves like you normally would. I just didn't think it was slicing that much. I yeah. thought it kind of started right and just faded, like, kind of at the pin and just faded the right edge. That's, that's what I saw. Yeah, I've never taken a bad drop in my life. I'm not, about no, to I'm not, I'm not saying anything against that. Yeah. I just don't. So where do you have it first? Kind of just on the edge, um, like just short of the fairway, essentially. Kind of on that cross right there. That's kind of what Joel just said. Too. Yeah. You have like it over here. the grass bunker. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't have it there. It's like not even a question. Man. I was more left. I was right side of the fairway. Do you see the 16 there? The ball took yeah. off left of the 16 and finished in line with the right edge of the green. Sure. 
I was next to burger, basically. I mean, Anywhere along here is a good compromise between the two. I'm it's telling angle, you, if you want you the drop here, the ball. it's a bad drop. That's all I'm saying. Gino and I both were like, yeah, I could have caught the right side of the green, but I also You know what? I'm going to drop here for the sake of you guys, but you guys are just wrong. Put a ball right. Agree on it, and let's go. Okay, Rory McElroy at the 17th, Doug, uh, going for a drive. Park well off the right yeah, of the 17th so green. Good yeah, news is he's pin high. Like bad news is we don't have anybody that has the keys to this car, so we can back it up. Guys, can you just move yeah, back? Need a Thank you. Move yeah. back like 10 yards. All in all, he gets a good line. More than one left to two. And yeah. Give himself an opportunity for a birdie three here at the 17th. Well, the way he's looking at this, it looks like He's going to get aggressive, and he's got great contact. This flew way deeper into the green than I thought. It's got spin. It's going to be great. Hits the flag stick. McElroy will get out of here with a birdie. Yeah, it's blowing pretty good, Terry. That's an eight iron from 198. Oh, huge miss to the right. There's a wall over there, and it's over it. It's a home run. Actually, that's 14 green yeah. right next yeah. door. Yeah, the par three. Steve Rintoul out there helping him out. And Kurt, I believe he has the option of taking a drop from this, from the green. Is he, is he proceeding under wrong putting green? If that's what you want to call it, sure. But he had a flat lie on the putting surface. I'm a little surprised he's taking a drop here. So eventually, this is where Fitzpatrick's going to play from. Yeah, he would have taken, I think it's rule 13, wrong putting green. Really flick it over the wall. And I tell you, oh, one more bounce. Just checked up, didn't yeah. it? Looked like it was going to be ever so close. Start his outward nine. Really a tough tee shot for a fader with the wind blowing across from the left. And then the wind has this one. Does, does that count as a hole in one? What is, <laughs> what is that? How does that I even have, happen? I have never seen that. I, I've seen it in a chair. I've seen it in a backpack. I have never seen it in a cup holder. And he gets a half moon, one club length from the center of that point. He walked up to me, looked at it, and said, it's just pure talent. And, and that is exactly right. Pure talent. Feels like he has some element of control. And now you're seeing the difficulty of having to play out of the longer grass. It's coming from the left. And this is coming in low in the middle of the first third. Shame in that. I think, like, is that a two ball that you know? Look, yeah, the forward yeah, ball is yeah. the ball place it right behind John Hunt's ball. It's literally where John's ball is. Nick's ball should be just touching John Hunt's ball. Who's going to putt first? This is mine. Okay. So I can mark mine, right? Yeah. And they said they're right here. Move your mark. I have to move. Sure, let's do it. It's you. <laughs> okay, so you move your mark. I'll move mark. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, use that. You give him your mark, Rube. Really. And you can put your mark. So I put. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I can lift this, and now that's in play there. Okay. I'm trying to scramble here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. Davis just on the edge. You know, gauge the depth of the wheel. So we're allowed to uh, we're allowed to just stick the yeah. stick your club yeah. in exactly. just to see like how. And Davis, what he was asking is he wanted to see if he could stick his club in the water, see how deep it was for his right foot to go in before he went and took a step. That was a scary little shot. He knows if he goes back a little ways, he's going to be a Woody Austin moment, maybe. This is Thomas Peters, his second shot. We have had one player lay up in the fairway. Pl hole playing dead downwind, so everybody going for it. But that is the tricky part of that. We showed you the package before. Will it stay? 
It, it is on the sprinkler head. It's just a matter of whether the ball is touching the, uh, the penalty area line. So that would take precedence over the sprinkler head. If it's touching, he's not getting relief for an uh, immovable obstruction penalty area. So then you'd have to actually play it from the sprinkler head? That would be correct. Thomas Peters getting the explanation now. If it is touching the line and he doesn't get relief, that's just a terrible break there. He just walked up and hit it. Obviously, Thomas Peters frustrated. There's a whole lot of things on that left hand side that can bounce this ball back. It bounced off the chalets and went over and into the pond. So, John, he's going to take a drop, but those hospitality tents are between him and the hole. So, where is he going to take his relief? He's going to end up. He's going to end up way back over uh, in 15 eventually. So, those are the hospitality tents that he's on the other side of. to make an aggressive swing. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here, and to subscribe, click here.